It's a deliberate attempt at that. This is a crossroad here at the Kaukuri intersection where the protesters have made a stop. The police have also prepared adequately for them, knowing that when they get here, they will definitely attempt the end of their way. So this FU van has been stationed here with many more police personnel also stationed here. They are here in their numbers. And as it stands now, the protesters have spent some number of minutes here refusing to move. But I don't know whatever it takes. They are going to move and the final destination is not here at the Kaukut intersection. The final destination is at the Independence Square. But the police are waiting patiently not to touch any of the protesters till they are ready to continue with their protest. It has been like this from the very beginning of the protest. Anywhere the protesters get to, they make a stop. Places such as intersections, such as the Kaukut intersection, they make a stop, wait for a while before they continue with the protest. But the police have been very professional. They refuse to put pressure on them to move. At whichever time they are ready to move, the police escort them. As it stands right now, the Kaukut intersection has been taken over Free by the, the protesters. Free the citizens! Free Sedwin! Free Glenn! Free Hammer! Free all of them! Stop Gollum, say! So the protesters indeed came very prepared for this man. He decided to come with his horse also to take part in the protest. So first of all, boss, tell me, what is the reason for bringing a horse? So the menace of Galamse does not only affect human beings by means of the citizens of Ghana, right? It also affects the animals in our ecosystem. And so this, the reason why I brought a horse is to also show that the animals also in our forest covers are also suffering. That is why I brought a horse today. For him, he brought the horse also to show that the horses are also uh, victims of the water bodies that are being um, polluted. The horses also drink from the Pura, the river Tano, that have all been polluted. How has it been so far? Uh, it's been okay. It's been okay. We can't complain. It's been okay. Uh, our grievances are being heard and we think the message is going across. So yes, it's been okay so far. Um, we have so much to talk about, but the message is quite simple. Free the citizen and of course stop Galamse. I mean, we've all seen it. We've seen our water bodies being destroyed. You've seen the rivers. You've seen this. I mean, the, the, the estuary, the river journey, the, the, the sea. You've seen how Brian's got it to. And it's quite damaging. This very soon, if you must have noticed, in 2021, there was a BBC documentary that stated that in 2030, there's a possibility that Ghana will be importing water. Just, just sit down for a minute and think about it. I mean, the, water, the, the ordinary bottle of water, we can't even buy it. They imagine, in about 2020-30, we'll be importing water. How do, you how do you think we're going to be able to buy this water? It's not even going to be possible. So, uh, the name is Alvin. The handle is with Alvin. Simple. Stop, girl, I'm safe. It's been peaceful, <laughs> fair. Nothing has happened. We've been, we've been obedient with what the police are saying. We've been coordinating with them. Everything is moving on. Well, but why and you the yourself? I joined because I'm a Ghanaian and I want what's best for. I don't have anywhere to go. This is where I have. This is my country. This is where I want to be. So I want it to be better. So that when I give birth to my kids, they'll come and meet a better Ghana. Yeah. Oh, here I'm going to Okay. I will be chim. Okay. Now I'm going to join the protest now. So I want to see you. You always send the party. You always have friends to you. You always have friends to you. So I touch them also. You <laughs> It sounds so when you be and yen them wine as you and I don't know me and I not feel the whole high into Hana or more high no, I feel quite the essay or Munyano. Yes, I should be a quack of goofy assay. That's your own pin. I, 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 the motivation is our future. The future is the motivation. That's the only motivation that we have as a youth. Stop destroying our future. Destroy Galamse instead. If you come and see the number of security personnel, they have marched on us, on, 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 on armed protesters, youth who are calling for a natural recall 
of our water bodies, the amount of I can count, I can, I can project like a thousand security personnel here. Whilst our hinterlands are locked with consignment, well, I'm saying consignment, and they are destroying our water bodies, our resources, our natural reserves. They can't send them there, even if these police personnel here go there for one consignment. Do you think they can save that? They can go in one consignment by the other. But yes, on record, we know that political appointees, government appointees, are the owners of those consignments. So it's a, it's a matter of priority. It's a matter of prioritization. They do not want to prioritize our lives, our future, against their consignments, against their uh, 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 illegal ways of, of getting money. That is why we are here. Our future is our core. Our future is our agency. Our future is our vibe. No, Stop Galam Say now. Don't destroy our future. Destroy Galam Say. I actually heard the comments by Dr. Freye and I felt it's quite unfortunate because if you say that the waters are in your region and it is not in any other person's region, I'm sorry to say the water is not a stagnant water. You understand? The water is not a stagnant water. It flows all the way from the north all the way to the south. So if you pollute the water in your region and you are saying that just because the water is not in the south, the south or the those in Accra shouldn't be worried about it or anything of that sort. I'm sorry to say, one can hear, one can hear, or yeah, Oh yeah, he should apologize. He should apologize because these are the same waters that are uh, Ghana water. Actually, get us like treats it and then get, get us potable water to drink. So if you are telling us that move politics to only into the near and now then then they are. Excuse me to say, you are trying to insult the whole citizen. You understand? You are trying to insult every, each and every other Ghanaian. You understand? But he should understand that in so now or say any year, you now almost say no, no. At the end of the day, Nenananum would come and would want to drink from that same water. Um, obviously, if he's standing for a parliamentary candidate, candidateship, then they should vote against him. Because he doesn't have the people at heart. He obviously does not have the people at heart. Because if you do have the people at heart, you should know that water is one of the basic, most essential commodities that is needed for humanity. And therefore, you should fight to give your people clean drinking water. Um, I've always said that, look, it does not necessarily need to be in your region before you start talking about. And I'm, I'm shocked, really, and frankly insulted that somebody of a stature would be making such statements especially looking at the devastation that Galamse is causing okay i don't need to wait for me to be directly affected before i make a move i am supposed to i am supposed to actually get up and speak truth to power and the truth is it's not an Eastern region problem, it's not an Ashanti region problem, it's not a Western region problem, it's a Ghana problem. Because all these regions are part of Ghana, they are the ones that supply us food, water, and look, I, I was saying about what, last week was when I even learned that the Densu River flows directly towards Weja and into the sea. And Ghana water is supplying us with that water, filled with cyanide, arsenic, mercury, and people are not worried. It's not a matter of waiting till it gets to your region or it's not in the region, no. Look, using a free as an example, I'll say I will be disappointed, highly disappointed in any Ghanaian who goes ahead to cast their votes for such politicians. That is not a good leader. That is a terrible leader who is thinking of themselves alone and how to fill their tummies only and not Ghanaians. Because as a proper citizen, as a proper leader and a concerned Ghanaian, you should actually be listening to Ghanaians and put a stop to Galamse. This is what the people are crying for. So stop it so they are happy to vote for you. Yeah. That's all. The evil that the government has done is enough. Free the innocent protesters and stop Galamse. Thank you. That's why I joined. Thank From you. Where? From Ghana. Interesting.
Because I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the next generation are not guaranteed simple human rights such as free running water, clean running water. And this is going to impact our food security. It's going to impact so much. We cannot jeopardize the future of future generations like this. It's absolutely horrible that the government and other political parties are using Galamse as a way to get votes. Our human rights are not a talking point. Did you hear you know? the MP speaking about the fact that they won't speak about Galamse? So and I think that's absolutely terrible. Tell me about that. You heard it. I didn't hear it. But you telling me that just sh it further exam like shows my point yeah. that they're using something as fundamental as our environment as a talking point. It's not about politics. This is about all of us because when the water when the water is finished, it doesn't matter your votes. It doesn't matter if you're an MP because it's gonna happen. To, when gonna happen to all of us? What's gonna happen? You yeah. know? Say no to Galam Say. When did I join? For, why? Uh, because 60% of our water bodies are contaminated. That is why I'm here. And because they arrested peaceful protesters, I reminded them till 8th of October because they said no to Galamsey. That is why I'm here. It's very annoying. Very, very annoying. That it's our human right to protest. It's our human right to speak out on things that are affecting us. It's our human rights. They are infringing on our human rights. So it makes me very angry, very annoyed. That is why I'm here. I belong to a pressure group. It's called Forum for Accountability. Yes. We are fighting against, uh, we, the group fights against um, um, payments or allowances for the NSS personnel. Yeah. Pardon? Yes, I just finished my NSS. Yeah. They've got nothing to offer us. And here, number one. Number two. A a dainty. And a mebuna war memo hayetium. Yes, same way we are a sicker. No problem. Must say, or may, no problem. But then suakaka, I cast why a beno monso. And suakaka, I cry a beno monso. And also so more seno. Yen yen is sicker. You bet me the atone sua. Ya crefia bro tire di aba. Police for ya wahe nyina. Wa mu ni sika am beti bi di atoy imported water. All these police officers. Because em pabo akura she police for ya wahe. Police for ya protect ya. Wo wa won bottom sika no me to boot. They bought the boots themselves. They don't even have money to buy boots for police officers who are standing here. And baby aye duro no. Yeah, yeah, can I say? Yeah, more be a queen say yes, we are sick and tired. And so no essay. And Ukoka, they don't want to understand. But I thank God that at least we are people among us. Yeah, but sorry, Echina. Echina, we will join. Saturday, we will join. Thank you. Thank you. If you say, yeah, to me, to now say, the next five years ahead of us, get a better one, Zubay. Get a better one, Zubay. Police for the one more water cannon, so far. Who had a demonstration of Mufisa and why at the end? One baby and Suani Diego, so. And Suaben, one of the Begum. And Suaben, a police for now, Grady Begum water cannon, sitting. And Suaben. Say, I'm an Oka say. Sao Kwak will be teaching hospital. Now Kwak on Fanochi teaching hospital. When we are on your dialysis, no. What's a key age now? When we are Dorsu, I am between the ages of 18 and 41. These are the youth of the land. I am disappointed in the IGP. I am disappointed in the IGP. When we are on your gallam say, Nankasano. They are in the forest. And the Ghana police service is telling the whole country, sir. One Nimsa, you are two Galamse, I will tell you. Ghana police service is forcing one Munim, sir. You are two Galamse, I want Cobra. 
Ghana Police Service. See what we need, sir. Yeah, two gallons say. Our river press. This is the kind of water. And police informant to be actually demonstrated on the street of Accra. But Ghana Police Service and the IGP, they can't go to Ancobra. And, and it's a policy for the yes, sir. What they are telling us is that. Yeah, 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 mami baku. This is what they are telling us. And and yes, I said they are men only in Accra. They can't go into the bush. When we are eight to Galamse, no, we will run our sense so. And they have made us to understand, sir, a hey, criminal offence. So we must say gun and so. And see, I am a police from Penny for the Fifth Central Region, Eba, and the Western Region, Eba. No, we will run over and cobra. We will run over and cobra now. Omo inya order, omo inya order, be from above. When the commanders are coming from Ashanti region, it's a young man who is a river planner. As we speak, there's not a single river in our eastern region, Ashanti region, central region, western region, Bronga half region, and so on. Not a single river. Not one. Aka Volta Lake or Volta River. And even this morning, when we sent our reporters to go there, and so on, I started essay. And also, I started essay. Yabedan, Yabetimiatina, or Maya, common water, common water. Yen Yabino, but Kwame Nkrumah said something. And I always say it that change, when it is denied or too long delayed, violence will break out here and there. Not that the men planned or willed it. But our accumulated grievances will erupt with volcanic fury. If these people, if they are saying said they can't protect our waters for us, we will go into the forest and protect our water. When we get there, when we get there, they should send their politically branded police officers to come and kill us. They should send them to come and kill us. Because it's so painful, it's so heartbreaking. Say a war man. Now even missing police officers here, they put a They bought it themselves. The state could not buy them boots. Common boots, police officers net on. What want to do a music at all? Now so what do you seek up a top boots, police officer? We won't send young sword no more. What will happen to you? What will happen to you? Baby, I hear Drono. The youth of this land, listen and listen clear. This has nothing to do with your NDC. It's got nothing to do with your NPP. This has got to do with our lives. That is all. And you know, Echina, wherever you are hearing my voice, any baby I will have you. Tomorrow, we are demonstrating. Yes. Yes. They must release our brothers and sisters immediately now. Now, now, now. They must release them because it doesn't make sense anywhere in this world that me and me demonstrate say Obinjai Bonino. Watch me. Let the Oya Bonino there. Onu the Oya Ano. How they can say? Exina, Yetinam, Exina, Yetinam, 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 how has the Office of the Attorney General been responding to these uh, continuous protests that we've been uh, having uh, for, for, for some weeks now? I think the police are doing a, a good job uh, mm. under the circumstances. The Office of the Attorney General, how they are responding is their mandate is by their mandate under Article 885 of the Constitution, mm. which is sorry, to sorry, prosecute sorry, sorry. criminal offences. Yeah. Under Perfect. the circumstances, we have stated emphatically that when it comes to 
the fight against Galamsey, the office of the attorney general is indeed fighting Galamsey. They have over 250 convictions as it stands right now. These convictions include foreigners, these convictions include all sorts of all sorts of persons. So we are not looking at party colors, we are not looking at um, whatever nationality nationality a person belongs to. Once you infringe on the laws of Ghana, you will have to face the punishment. The police will do the arrest, prosecution would also follow. In the same vein, currently I must also add that there are over 850 people who are being prosecuted. Eight, for 850 people? Over 850 people who are currently facing charges in respect of illegal mining. So from where we are, or from where we sit, the fight is still going on even at our office. So this is our way of showing solidarity to those who are demonstrating. This is our fight against Galamse. So from our office, you saw the two young men who are also with me. These are also really, really brilliant attorneys. Now, instead of us maybe joining you on the streets to also protest, we are fighting very hard at our office in respect of illegal mining. We are making sure that those who commit the criminal offense of illegal mining mm. will face the full rigors of the law. And we are prosecuting them in court. We have secured convictions amongst others. Mm. In the same way, during some earlier protests, there were some excesses that has led to this point. And we want to thank the demonstrators today or those protesting today for what the briefing I have so far is that it's been quite peaceful. So we won't say congratulations to them on that score. Mm. So from where we sit, from the office of the Attorney General, we are indeed fighting illegal mining illegal money, in cancel. our own way. They raised two issues which include releasing of the 54 other protesters, the democracy have protested that are currently behind police custody. They are saying there are a lot of uh, some innocent uh, individuals among them, like including driver's mates that have all been picked up, including some people that is alleged that they are even pregnant, others are um, not feeling too well, and they are still being kept in well, police initially, custody. Initially, there was an emphatic statement that she was pregnant, but now we are hearing it as an allegation. So that matter, I think, speaks for itself. And in any case, if there are some people who are not, or who did not engage in the excesses who were picked up, it was too soon at that point for, for any sort of, because when we received the docket, this is a matter of public interest. Mm. So, of course, the police would bring the docket to the office of the Attorney General. And when we receive the docket, we need time to look at it on case-by-case -case basis. Mm. So you do not be surprised if we go to court next time and we do not raise opposition to most of the bail applications. Are you going to raise opposition? They are asking that Like I said, the attorneys in charge of this matter or the various cases, there are about 54 cases. I wouldn't be the one handling all the, all the numerous cases. They are asking cases. for the Attorney General Department to discontinue the prosecution process. People are asking that... So is it, is it, is it, So that's why we are here to receive the petition. Is it going to be a blanket discontinuance? Is that what is being that's sought what for? for? Irrespective of the excesses that took place, that would be a decision for the Attorney General himself to take. Because I will not overstep the, the constitutional boundaries given to me. So when it comes to certain aspects, it is only the Attorney General that can take it. But mm. I do assure you that these matters will be looked at on case-by-case -case no. basis. And that's what's happening right now. No. Thanks so much. So yeah. you are waiting to receive the petition from them? We now. are waiting to receive the petition. No. So ah, that ah, is a representative from the Attorney General's Department who says that, well, he's here to receive the petition from the uh, protesters. And he's grateful that their protest so far has been peaceful. And for him, for the other 54 protesters that are currently being held in police custody, they are still looking at it, but they cannot continue the case entirely as there were some SSCs that they would have to investigate. Joseph Armstrong, Go, Dalibu TV3.